Welcome to Centauri Stir Fry Wild Stallions. New comics at all, okay? I got a few from Marvel, got a few from DC, got a few uh, image books and, you know, independence or whatever. So hopefully you were able to make it to your local comic store this week and pick up all the goodies you're looking for, all the variant covers. And you know, sometimes those things fly off the shelves and people miss them and then you get upset and I understand, so do I. Um, but, in this case, if you're looking for Fantastic Four, you should be able to pick up that book for like a decade. I think there's like a thousand of them in each shop. So there you go. <clears throat> Alright, DC first. Picked up this really cool, this is the B cover, this is uh, our germ cover, um, the interiors are by uh, Jolie Jones. So far issue number one was really good, I'm looking forward to reading this too, hopefully it's still good. Um, but man, if they keep doing covers like this, I have a major problem. It's a beautiful cover, awesome. And her, interior, her art is great, interior art is great. Uh, for no particular reason I picked up this Red Hood and the Outlaws, I believe this is number 25 or so, I'm not sure actually. Um, no idea. Um, but it's a really cool cover. I just thought it was awesome. Batman Red Hood fighting, I guess, in the Batcave. You got uh, Jason Todd's little costume down there in the bottom. Really cool cover. Um, I enjoyed the first six issues or so, but Scott Lobdell usually doesn't do it for me, so we'll see. Um, well, a book that has been doing it for me, which is awesome, uh, I recommend it if you're a Batman, Detective Comics. This is a uh, 986, 985 was really good. We have the introduction uh, in a killer way, 985. Check that book out. But hopefully this will continue. Um, this is the story of the new villain, Karma which is a very cool, very uh, motivated uh, killer, for sure. He's motivated, and it seems like he's got, I don't know, he's just a well-rounded villain. just seems like he's a lot of trouble, and it, I don't know, it's cool. It's just, I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but it's a cool new villain, and we don't get those enough in Batman anymore, I think. It's just, I guess you had your metal villains and stuff like that. I don't know, something about it. I just dig. It just kind of reminds me of the old school days where you get a villain like almost every other, every other issue. But I enjoy Karma, and Black Lightning's cool in it too. And that was the B A cover, here's the B cover, which is like basically a, uh, I don't know, like a blueprint. It's got his new Batmobile there, which kind of almost looks like the Tim Burton Batman, or Batmobile. It'd be cool if they did some more variants of these where you could actually have like the 1989 Batmobile there with blueprints and stuff. Maybe they did them all. Maybe they'd even do like the Norm Bay Fogel one from the uh, early 90s. That's my Batman. Alright, so you got a uh, really cool, uh, this is Adam Hughes, which I preferred this one. I think this is probably the cooler cooler cover of the bunch. And this is from last week, but this is my DC pick of last week. Um, and my favorite cover as well. This is Destro 35, or th no, 34. Christopher Priest. Um, I believe this is a Batita cover, I'm not real sure, but I think this is an epic, epic cover. The interiors are awesome too. We got a knockdown, drag out fight between Destro and Batman where they just insult each other. There's a lot of mom jokes involved and they just fight each other all day. And they just, you know, it's like a rap battle. Just talking smack the entire time. So definitely check out our Destro. Cool. Alright, so as far as Marvel goes this week, okay, I did the man, I just did Fantastic Four, man. That's pretty much all I did. Uh, I was watching Jim's comics and he was talking about this cover featuring, I guess, the new villain in their in their series is coming up. This this lady up there, I believe this is the, the Ramos cover, uh, variant. Um, but he was saying that's the, probably the first appearance of her, so I checked it out. Um, but that's before I saw these sweet art germ covers. So I had to pick some of these up. I didn't get them all but I picked a couple of them up. Here's Sue Storm. That is a great cover. This is like something you frame. You get all four of those. All, they all look great. Frame these things. Put them up on a wall. It's awesome. Also picked up the uh, Johnny Storm one. Look at that. Johnny Storm. I love that cover. Man, it's freaking sweet. Very cool. And my favorite book from last week that was Marvel. Um, it's definitely, besides Infinity War, because that's a given, um, what surprised me the most is probably Death of the Inhumans by uh, Donny Cates. This is a really cool story. If you have any interest whatsoever in the new ones, check this out. It's been good. And Vox is a really cool looking character. Dig it. Definitely Infinity Wars, though. It's the way to go. Um, okay. So, Independence I picked up this week. Nothing special, but, you know, it's an aftershock number one. I thought I'd try it. Um, this is a hot lunch. I believe it's a one shot. I could be wrong about that. But it's got fingers in a sandwich, man. Fingers in my. Your fingers. You got fingers in my sandwich. You put fingers in my sandwich. So, also, we got uh, Sword Daughter. Uh, number three. Uh, although I've been enjoying this book a lot, um, I think I'll wait for the trade after this. Honestly, it just kind of feels like I'd rather read it all in one sitting. That's kind of how it feels to me. So, I think that's what's going to happen with that book. Even though I highly recommend it, I think it's awesome. Um, another book that's freaking sweet is uh, Death of Glory. I'm really enjoying this. Just kind of feels like it could happen, like just down the street, you know, just a little bit. Guys, a preacher vibe, but it feels like this could be happening right under our noses. So, very cool. Fun book. I like Death or Glory. Remender is killing it. Uh, probably my favorite independent book that I picked up last week. 
Um, I thought this was really cool. A New World. Um, it's incredibly preachy, as you can tell. Um, it's, it's a lecture book, um, but it's very thick and it's got incredible artwork by Tradmore. Um, I just like to look at it. It's like four or five bucks. I think it's five bucks, but it's, it's thick as heck. Uh, I, you know, if you're a fan of art, I just, I don't know, this, I, this worked for me. I dug it, so. Little, little preachery, you know, little preachy, you know, just telling me how vegan they are or whatever. It's like, if, hey, guess, did you know I'm vegan? That's, that's what I know. A vegan book. It's a vegan book, but the art's so beautiful, I don't care. Um, but whatever, okay, we got X-Men Black Cohen. So we got Magneto. Yeah, he's on his way. That's the, my next Marvel book I'm super excited for. Um, before we end this video, thanks again for everyone who chimed in last and entered that contest and said all those really awesome things. It was very cool. Just I, I felt the love. You guys rock. It was awesome. There's going to be more contests, so I'm going to be throwing those out more often because I, I had fun putting that together, so it was really cool. So stick around for more, okay? That's going to be it for this episode. You guys have a good one out there. And remember, Maggie was right. He's coming back black. See ya.